If you're looking for a first course with zucchini that's incredibly creamy and amazingly tasty, then this is just the recipe for you. It comes straight from the Sorrento Peninsula. It's called spaghetti alla nerano. Today's recipe is a simple, tasty pasta and zucchini dish, but with a little something extra. What makes this dish special is that we'll be cutting the zucchini into thin slices and frying them in extra virgin olive oil, and then we'll make everything super tasty and creamy by adding provolone del Monaco. This is a distinctive cheese that's originally from the Sorrento Peninsula. Let's start by preparing the zucchini. Cut them into very thin round slices. To do this, use a mandolin set to the minimum thickness. Obviously, you can also use a well-sharpened knife if you don't have a mandolin, but you won't get such thin, precise slices. And of course, it will take a bit of patience. Now it's time to fry the zucchini slices. Pour the extra virgin olive oil into a large pan and heat it till it reaches a temperature of about 150 degrees. Fry the slices a few at a time. Let them get nice and brown. Remove from the oil and place on oil-absorbing paper, then fry the rest. And now, the frying process is finally complete. Add salt to the zucchini. We're also going to flavor them with fresh basil leaves, which you can tear into pieces by hand, and then set them to the side. Once the water is boiling and you've salted it, you can add the spaghetti. Pour a splash of olive oil into the saucepan and fry a clove of garlic with the skin still on, just long enough to flavor the oil. Then remove the clove of garlic and add in the fried zucchini. Add a ladle of cooking water from the pasta and reduce. Rehydrate the zucchini. By this point, the spaghetti should be cooked very al dente. Remove it and strain it a few minutes before it finishes cooking to fry it in the pan with the oil and zucchini. Meanwhile, put the provolone del Monaco in a bowl. This is a slightly spicy cheese typical of the Sorrento Peninsula. You can replace it with cacio cavallo stagionato if you prefer. Now add the parmigiano. Mix together. And now stir into the spaghetti, making sure the heat is turned off. Finish it off with a few fresh basil leaves and a splash of olive oil. What a lovely creamy texture. Now it's time to serve. Guys, I'm telling you, this dish really is absolutely incredible. Every time I eat it, I feel like I'm sitting in the sun at a traditional Italian restaurant in a seaside village right on the Amalfi Coast. It truly has magical powers. Mmm. Try it at home and let me know what you make of it. I'm sure you'll love it. Buon appetit.